Okay, so today is day 18 of the video challenge. Um, it is talk about your best friend. Uh, as you can tell, I'm still sick from the concert. Um, I'm pretty sure it's due to lack of sleep and screaming my lungs out for hours. Uh, but I can't feel too bad because I spoke to Heather earlier and she has no voice. So at least I have some semblance of a voice even though it's a whiny sick voice and it's thoroughly annoying to hear uh, in my own head. But um, at least I can actually speak. Um, so that is a bonus. <coughs> anyway, so I'm going to try not to talk too much. Um, but my long time, not really long time, my best friend his name is Gabby, but I also have another friend that I'm going to talk about after I finish talking about Gabby. Okay, so now my timeline is probably off because I have literally the worst memory of anyone you will ever meet except for my friend Julie, but we won't get into that. So, um, and I'm sure if I really screw something up, Gabby will let me know because she's good like that. Um, so yeah. I have been promoting Sick Puppies since about March of 2008. Um, Gabby has been on the World Crew since about fall 2009, I believe. Um, I remember she was originally there under the username HaHaIDK. Um, we didn't really talk too much. We kind of just gradually started talking. She became an ambassador, um, and that's when we really started talking more because the ambassadors of the world crew are kind of like a close-knit family. They're all like, um, I don't really know what I was going to say there. They they talk to each other. We get close. That's most of my friends that I know through the world crew. They're all ambassadors. Um, so we started gradually talking more and more, texting each other. Um, I was with my ex at the time, and we wanted to go down for Wizarding World of Harry Potter when it opened last July. So we decided to coordinate a trip so that we could go down and meet Gabby. <coughs> um, I remember I had issues with my ex because she was jealous that I was talking to Gabby, which is ridiculous, but she was crazy anyway. So anyway, so we made plans to go down there in August um, so we could go there on a day that Gabby didn't have work. Um, we got to meet for the first time and go to Wizarding World of Harry Potter and Islands of Adventure. Um, I remember I kept getting yelled at the whole day by my ex because me and Gabby were talking to each other like we had known each other for years. And we just got so caught up in the conversation and when we like get caught up like, talking to each other we just like take off and we'd be like 15 feet in front of everyone else. Because um, we were with my ex, my ex's sister, and our other friend from the world crew um, who we call Julie Snaps, because there are like four Julies on the world crew that we knew. So she was Florida Julie or Julie Snaps. So they were like 20 feet behind us all day, and we kept getting yelled at because we were so far ahead. Um, but yeah, that was probably one of the best days um, of all of 2010 for me. Uh, so much fun. Wizarding World of Harry Potter was amazing. Um, yeah. <coughs> So, I don't know. I'm really bad at talking about people. Um, but yeah. So, we ended up breaking up, me and my ex, um, around the end of September. But we already had tickets and plans to go down to Nashville for this ambassador meetup in October, 10 10 10, uh, in Nashville. Um, so, we already had our tickets and everything. I went, I was not missing that. So, my ex decided not to go. Um, which is totally cool. So Gabby and I coordinated, like, we had coordinated our trips with Liz um, to where we were down there an extra day. Like, everyone else was leaving Sunday or Monday. We stayed till Tuesday, so we had a little bit extra time down there. Um, so I got to go down there and meet her for the second time. Um, we had a hotel room with a couple other friends. <coughs> got to hang out, um, spend, spend a whole day with just the two of us and Susanna from the World Crew um, in Nashville. Um, lots of fun. We got to go to this place called All Fired Up where you like paint your own ceramics and have them fired and then my hair is being really uncooperative today. Um, and then 
you go back and get them. I actually never got my piece because I left it down there with Susanna, who I had a falling out with. Like, we don't really talk anymore, so she still has it. I'm assuming she probably gave it to her son, Caden, which is totally cool because he's the cutest little boy ever. And you no, know. Anyway, um, so got to hang out that day. Um, but it was kind of after I broke up with my ex that we really started to get closer because I didn't really have to worry about Liz breathing over my shoulder every time I was texting her because um, she really gave me a hard time about that. Uh, I don't know, I guess she was threatened by my straight friend in Florida while I had a girlfriend, but it was, I don't know. You know, I never try to explain the crazy people in the world because it's just going to make me insane. Um, so yeah. I don't really know what else to say. Um, since then, she came to visit me in March. Um, she came down for a Sick Puppy show. It was our first like show together. Had a fucking awesome time on the rail. Um, ended up bringing my friend Josh. They met and actually started dating, which turned out to be something really awesome because very recently, Gabby moved up to Pennsylvania, um, like the first week of September. So now she's here and she lives a half an hour away from me so I am very very lucky <coughs> because I know not everybody gets to meet some awesome friend online and then have them move closer to them so they can actually hang out with them because all of my other friends that I met online still live in other states so I don't ever get to see them but um, now she lives right here and um, yeah we were actually discussing this the other day, like, I don't know, I just feel the need to, like, when we actually get our first official show together, like, with her being here, I plan on, like, actually being able to go up to, like, Shim and Emma and Mark and, like, thanking them, because, I mean, even though I'm not a part of the World Crew anymore, it's brought me close to some amazing people, and without that band and that family, I wouldn't have the best friend that I have today, and I wouldn't have had that whole experience of her moving closer and now I actually have her here. Um, she's awesome. Um, I say awesome a lot. I'm also kind of out of it today. I don't know. Um, so yeah. I don't really know what else to say. I pretty much just explained how we met. I didn't really talk about her all that much. But um, I don't know. I'm not, I don't really feel like getting all cheesy in front of you guys. But um, you know, we just get along really well. We have pretty similar tastes in music. Um, that's generally a pretty easy way for me to bond to someone. If they have similar tastes in music in me, especially when it comes to either Sick Puppies or Evanescence, like, like that. Um, I have a couple Ev friends that I met four years ago at the concert. One of them I haven't seen since until this past weekend, and the other one I saw once since then. And when we were at the concert, um, waiting in line all day. It was it was like we had never had that time apart. It was like it was the, the next day and we had known each other for years. Like, we just clicked. I don't know. I feel like, you know, music is, brings me closer to awesome people. Um, so yeah. Uh, I was kind of hoping that Gabby would be here for this video or that I would record it days earlier so she could actually sit next to me and talk to me. But again, not a good planner. Um, got distracted when I was going to make our video with her last week and have it ready ahead of time um, and so I don't have it but uh, you're stuck listening to me ramble once more and I apologize for that um, and now my other friend who I've gotten really 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 close to the last few weeks months ish um, Trish I actually met her through a mutual can't really say friend, a mutual acquaintance, a mutual Tumblr user, there you go, um, we, that we both knew, um, and Trish actually messaged me one day and was like, you know, we blog a lot of similar things, we should talk, I feel like we'd be really good friends, and I was like, sure, okay, I was like hesitant at first, I was like, why is she messaging me, that's weird, we've never talked before, I don't know, I don't know what's up, so I was just like, can I help you? Looking for something to shine up. Uh, uh, there's nothing in here for you to shine up. Oh, 
shit in your pants. All right. Um, anyway, so it's just like, why is this person messaging me? It was like, whatever. And she was like, oh, you know, add me on Skype or something. I was like, I never go on Skype. Um, and she's like, well, I don't want to keep messaging you. I was like, here, whatever, just take my phone number, text me. I always have my phone on me. So we started texting, and we pretty much never stopped. Like, we literally talk every day um, for most of the day. Like, if I'm not at work currently, like, working the cash register, I'm texting Trish. Um, I don't always text back right away because I'm very easily distracted by the Internet. It's bad, but... Um, yeah, so pretty much I don't think that we've gone a day without texting since I gave her my number, which is really weird, I feel like. Um, but yeah, we are pretty much, we've decided that we basically share a brain. Not like I have a half a brain and she has the other half, but like our brains are so like extremely similar, like they completely match up. Um, we have a lot of the same thought processes, um, a lot of similar tastes and everything. Uh, Pretty much all of, like, I gave her a bunch of, like, shows and movies, um, and she watched them all. She, like, I gave her a book series that she's currently reading now that she's absolutely in love with, um, because it's awesome, uh, and because we are both awesome. But, um, yeah, it's really nice, because I feel like it's someone that I can, like, bounce random ideas off of, and I know that she won't think it's crazy, but she'll also be able to give me, like, feedback that I can't give myself because you can't really give yourself advice. So it's basically like bouncing ideas off of myself. I don't know, it's really weird. I can't really explain it, but it's very bizarre. Um, but yeah, we're both uh, big fans of music too, so that's um, a good thing. Her favorite band is Made a Parade, which ranks like maybe... I don't know, like my top, my top few bands are really, really close, but they're definitely in... I want to say in the top ten, because, like, once you pass Evanescence and Sick Puppies, all of the other bands are so close that they, like, regularly, you know, pass each other. So, like, one day Mayday can be, like, third, and the other day it can be, like, seven, and something else could jump into, th you know. It's very weird. But, um, you guys all think I'm crazy. I explain stuff so bad, um, and I apologize for that. But, um, I promise I am not any more crazy than this in person. First so. off, look how shiny the tab is. Congrats. to the bottom. <laughs> okay. That's sick. What are you shining it with? This a stuff sock. we got out of drag race. It's a washcloth, but... <laughs> okay. So you've successfully shined up if you gave a me Red like, Bull can. Like, bat, like uh, old brass or old silver. You can shine up my side. Oh yeah. Let's go have fun with it. Um. <coughs> anyway. Sharpen this to a point. No, it's a practice side. It's not supposed to be sharp. That's. I don't want to stab furniture when I'm twirling it. But that's a bad idea. Um. So yeah, we're very similar. Lost my train of thought here, but that's okay. Um. I've also gotten her re-obsessed with Buffy. She's been watching it the last couple weeks. She's already in season seven, so she has slightly less of a life than I do, I think. Um, yeah, she's going to be slightly offended to that, but then she'll laugh about it and call me a name, probably. Um, but yeah, she came to visit me um, not too long after we started talking. Like a month and a half, maybe, after we started talking. Um, so that was cool. She pretty much got to see how insane all of my friends are. We didn't really do much, but I'm a very boring person, and she's not 21. So we couldn't go out to, like, a bar or anything. But, um, it was good fun. We took lots of pictures. Um, I don't really have anything else to say. How the hell did I make another 15-minute video? What is wrong with me? I really have some serious issues. Um, anyway, so I'm going to stop the video. It's going to cut me off in like 20 seconds anyway. Um, yeah. Trish is really going to enjoy this because she, for some reason, likes to hear me ramble on about absolutely nothing. So, clearly she's not sane. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to let it stop me in three, two.